everybody. My name is Ben McKinley. I'm here with John Connor, one of the uh, partners here with uh, Thunderbolt Sportswear. We're coming to you live from Made Here PDX in downtown Portland. Uh, if you see anything here that you like tonight, this would be a, a great place to come try it on. Get a little more information, awesome staff, uh, a bunch of other really cool things here as we roll into the holiday season. Uh, as again, and again, I mentioned my name is Ben McKinley. I'm one of the, the uh, fortunate guys to serve as ambassador for Thunderbolt Sportswear. I've been working with these guys for a number of years and uh, doing my best to provide feedback on uh, fit and function. And uh, it's been a, a real fun ride. So we're real excited to come and, and present to you tonight here with John. You've earned it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I guess throughout this presentation, we're going to have some special uh, codes and, and deals throughout the broadcast. I uh, certainly want to drive you to the website, thunderboltsportswear.com. Uh, join the newsletter. Uh, you're here with us on Facebook, so I'm guessing you're following Thunderbolt. But if you're not, uh, certainly give it a like. Instagram, there's some great kind of inspirational photos and product photos that are filtering in there. Uh, so a great place to start. Uh, a little bit about the, the brand. Uh, that's a great place to start for us here. Um, focuses on premium fabric, premium details, uh, it includes the YK zippers, the invisible security pocket that's passport compatible in the jeans, a waistband stabilizer, high quality Tech 60 thread, um, simple design but built with functionality in mind, made in the USA, and small business. It was bootstrapped by climbers, travelers, skiers, backpackers and hikers. John, tell us a little bit about uh, Chris Payne. Yeah, so Chris Chris Payne, the original founder, uh, started Thunderbolt about eight years ago. He's an avid backpacker and also really enjoyed, as most of us do, wearing the blue jeans. And uh, he was trying to find a pair of pants that could do both, that were as comfortable as his jeans, but uh, the technical characteristics that you want going on a week-long backpacking trip, for example. So he, he launched this business and uh, really got it started. And then um, several years later, uh, myself and a few other guys got involved to try to help it out, and we've been building it ever since. Fantastic, so, yeah. fantastic. Well, speaking from my own experience, I've got a pair of these black Mark II jeans, the original. Uh, I wear them to work two days a week at least. So I'm sure a lot of my uh, clients and folks I work with, they're probably tired of seeing them at times. They're perfect uh, in the summer, they're perfect in the winter. Water, you know, water resistant, uh, nice resistance to wind. I ride my bike to, to most of the meetings during the day. Uh, like most others, I'm, I'm you know, working and meeting with folks. Uh, but I've also, I've climbed Mount Hood with them. I've done a, I've done a number of, of ski mountaineering races with them. Uh, kind of unconventional uses that, man, they serve me well. And uh, I think it really, it really serves that goal of, you know, from the boardroom to the trail and, and yeah. the woods. And I've had a great time with them. Yeah, let's talk about fit a little bit. You know, the originals um, several years ago fit really a lot more snugly. So snug that I was actually able to use them almost as a base layer at times. We used ice climbing, we used the cross country skiing, for example. So again, those those pushing the boundaries of unconventional uses, as you say. This newer version is um, much more generous in uh, the leg and in the seat, so they're going to fit more like a pair of, um, I would call them straight leg jeans. So they're much more everyday, they're much more versatile, they fit nicely over the top of a hiking boot, um, over the top of a, of a low volume ski boot, which you can probably just see. Yep. I've used them rock climbing, I've climbed El Capitan, Yosemite uh, with them, and a lot of other things. So. Cool. Um, a little bit more to talk about there uh, as we just talk about the, this broadcast in general. Uh, for the entire event tonight, 30% off, and that's 6 to 8 p.m. today, Pacific Standard Time. And then any questions you have, feel free to fire them off here on Facebook Live uh, during the presentation or otherwise. The discount can... code is made here. Oh, the discount code is made here. Uh, so go ahead and enter that in if you see anything that you're really excited about. Uh, and then any other brand questions, feel free to shoot an email, info at thunderboltsportswear.com. Uh, price point on these uh, that we were just talking about here, $200. They do come in three colors. I'm actually wearing, um, what's it, the actual name? That's the Ranger Green. Ranger Green. This is, the lights. Okay, cool. And I've got the, yeah, and the lights, they've got the graphite, uh, which is this kind of silver gray color. We've got the black with this contrasting um, scene, which I get a lot of compliments on. People love that. And then what's the color? Black on black. Black on black. Okay. Black.
just given that I've got quite a long inseam, uh, but there are a number of different inseam lengths to choose from. Um, as, it, as we mentioned before, they have a concealed, concealed rear pocket that has a zipper. It's passport compatible, which comes in real handy for travel. And I, like when I'm riding my bike and I've got my phone back there in the wallet. Um, nice size for a flip bar too. Indeed. I guess, are there any questions you guys want to shoot our way as we get started here? We've got some help behind the camera, so uh, feel free to fire those off. We'll keep an eye on that and, uh, and eager to answer any questions you have. Uh, otherwise, let's go ahead and move on. The next uh, product I'm actually wearing, it's the HD hoodie. John, why don't you tell us a little bit about the HD hoodie? So one of the things that we're always on the lookout for is a really interesting, unique material that we um, we happen to come across. We're always on the lookout for something new to experiment with. And a couple of years ago, some of you may remember, we had a, a lightweight hoodie that had a, it was a dark navy blue color. It was very lightweight and supple. It's an unbonded soft shell material. It felt almost like a cotton hooded sweatshirt. Yeah. It had a contrasting white zipper. And so that worked really well for us. And ever since then, we've been looking for another material to try in a, in a hoodie configuration. So we came across this, this HD fabric, as we're calling it. It's uh, similar to the original hoodie fabric. It's an unbonded soft shell. It's really durable on the outside. It's made up of a fabric called Dura Stretch. It's made by Tweed here in the US. And it's, uh, it's like a Polartec fleece on the inside. So it's a little thicker than our original hoodie, a little thicker than the, uh, than the, the Mark II jeans as well. Really nice for fall, winter, spring use, for travel, for all those outdoor pursuits that we've mentioned. It's virtually windproof, highly water repellent, and it's it's not over featured, as I, as I like to call it. So it has some really nice um, benefits to it without weighing you down with lots of bells and whistles. Yeah, I think some of the things I like about it is it's got a, a nice length in the front, but it's not too long. The two-way zipper comes in really handy, especially if you're riding a bike or doing stuff where you're bending over. You got things in the pockets; it doesn't bunch up too much. Uh, it also can come in handy uh, for those folks who like to backcountry ski or have other reasons to stuff things in their pockets here. I use this to stuff skins and store them in here, keep them warm and, and uh, from getting too cold. Also the longer limbs, so if you're riding a bike, you don't hike up the arms too much, which is a problem with me again from the length, and a little bit longer uh, tail on the back so when you're riding a bike it doesn't, it doesn't hike up and, and either get cold or give you a, a lot of draft. But I agree, kind of minimalist in design, in fact I think too it's uh, a nice sized hood. It could be uh, for some smaller helmets, climbing helmets, ski helmets. It's compatible for those helmets, which comes in really handy uh, in those, those off seasons. Hidden uh, draw cord here at the neck so you can snug that down if the wind is really howling. And then the underappreciated feature for those of us with hair in our chins is a little zipper garage there to provide a little cushion right under the chin so that zipper doesn't grab the beard. Yep. Yeah, I've experienced that. In fact, this is so well hidden, it took me a while to find it. <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, quick little flat. I actually, price point on this, $265. Um, and again, available here uh, at Made Here or on the website, of course. Uh, and then a quick flash, 50% off code to the first three orders coming through. Do we have any code associated with that? T-Bolt Live. T-Bolt Live. T-Bolt Live. Go ahead and try and throw that in there as a coupon code. And if you're one of the first three to get in, 50% off. Again, uh, thunderboltsportswear.com is where you get that. Um, let's see, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, about the brand here. Again, made in the USA. Um, that's definitely something worth worth talking about. Uh, there's some really exciting customer stories and ambassador stories. Uh, one person was three weeks in Europe with just these pants. Uh, another person was mining in Mongolia. Six months in Papua New Guinea. Uh, Machu Picchu, Australian surf and hiking stories, and then a, uh, a failure story, an Arctic penguin rescue. <laughs> I'd love to hear more about that one. Uh, one of the ambassadors, though, a gentleman named Andrew Sherry, is quite the, uh, he actually is the hiking story. If you go to Instagram, the hiking story is his handle, uh, Facebook as well. He's from uh, Australia, an absolute crusher when it comes to hiking. In 2017, he completed the Pacific Crest, Tra Pacific Crest Trail for the second time, the Wonderland Trail, Sierra High Route, the Hayduke Trail, Arizona Trail, total of 4,700 miles. Uh, his plans for 2018 are only getting earlier. He's looking at a winter uh, Appala Appalachian Trail, 
uh, attempt at 2,200 miles, the PCT for his third time is 2,650 miles, and then a Continental Divide Trail, which is 3,100 miles. I'm not very good at math, that's a lot of miles. Uh, the Hikes Ultralight style relies on Thunderbolt Merino and Dahlgren socks. We'll talk about the Merino tops here in a little bit. Um, and uh, that's for the spring, summer, and fall through hikes. And we'll be adding a pair of the Mark II lights, which I'm wearing for that 2180 mile winter through hike of the, of the AT. Uh, let's see, in terms of his kit uh, for that AT, it'll be the Mark II lights, baseline long sleeve tee, and then a Dahlgren multi pass socks. Uh, and in terms of the, this previous year, 4,700 miles of hiking with a pack, um, and it, it was three of the baseline tees he went through. Uh, so 1,500 miles of hiking per shirt, one shirt at a time. That's the definition of tested tough, no question. Both uh, durability and I'm sure uh, smell at the end of the day. John, um, we, have a, we have a question about the hoodie. Yeah. Uh, David says, hey guys, just bought one of the hoodies over Black Friday. Definitely like it, but just wondering, is it intended to be fairly slim fit? Definitely intended to fit, unlike a lot of, um, you know, modern day ski snowboard jackets that are intentionally going for more of a free ride fit, more of a loose fit, more of a park, park fit. This is definitely intended to fit a little more slim. Again, we're going for that versatility to get the most mileage out of this jacket. So it's, um, it is going to fit a little more slim than you may be used to with your ski jackets or snowboard jackets. If you prefer it to fit with a little more room for layering, or you just like a little bit more mobility, you can definitely size up. You can try sizing up, and then you know get those sleeves hemmed back if you need to. But um, yeah, Ben's Ben's modeling how we're kind of intending this jacket to fit. So not too snug. It's not like a, a ski racing suit. It's got room for a layer or two under there, but it's definitely not going to blow around too much in the wind um, and so forth. Yeah, again, this is a size large for me. I'm six foot four, um, pretty long limbs, and, and I, really, I really like how it is just uh, standing here. But then again, if you're if you're moving around and, and whatnot, it's not it's not hiking up too much. Yeah. So, good question. Keep them coming. All right. Well, keep an eye on Andrew Sherry again. The hiking story on Instagram and Facebook. The guy's going to be uh, really getting after it here uh, in the coming year. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's move on to the uh, the Wild VP Overshirt. Yeah, great. I'm wearing that one right now, as a matter of fact. So this is a collaboration with our friends over at Wild Outdoor Apparel. Um, this is modeled on a flannel shirt that they've had the last few years. This has a nice kind of all around, all American fit, I would say. It's a little bit more loose than some of our other products, but it does fit a couple of layers underneath it, or it can go underneath the HD hoodie or something else that you already own. It's made out of our uh, light fabric, so it's gonna be really, has a lot of give to it, really breathable, but also has some water resistance and some wind resistance for any weather that you may encounter. It's got a couple of utility pockets, including a pen or uh, eyeglasses sleeve here. These are uh, snap finish, nice and generously sized, again, for that passport or your lift tickets or maybe your, uh, your airline tickets or anything else that you might need to put in these, these pockets. The collar is nice and oversized so you can flip it up if it's windy for the scarf or a gator or just like so. Excellent. Yep. Price point on that $240 and then uh, how about a flash giveaway? Flash giveaway. Flash giveaway, so we're talking hashtag wild? Hashtag wild. First person to enter hashtag wild on our video feed, we'll get a free VP overshare. Look awesome. at that. Yeah, so gosh, if you're watching, just throw in the hashtag wild into the uh, the comments there, and uh, one of these uh, killer tops is yours. Any, uh, any takers? Any takers on that? No, we'll, we'll get to it. Okay, let us know. We'll no, we got one. Hey, we got one. Awesome. David's watching. David from Virginia. David. David, I'll email you and get your uh, details and send you that right away. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. That's, uh, <laughs> enjoy that top. It's a great one. Uh, all right. Let's talk about the, the light model. So as we talked about, Mark II originally was a little bit um, a little bit earlier material. Then they moved on to this lighter material as they wanted to move into more of a, you know, uh, three season uh, paint and as well as short as uh, the shorts that they come in. So uh, tell us about the, the lights. Yeah, so 
One of the most common comments we got in the earlier days was, you know, when are you going to introduce the white away pants? So here we have it. Now, before I jump into it, I will note that I think the originals do great four seasons in a lot of climates, especially if it's a drier climate. In the, in the warmer temps, I have climbed in these pants up to about 85, almost 90 degrees, and they're pretty comfortable. They're so breathable, and it's it's kind of hard to believe that you could be active in a really warm temperature like that. But um, they do work pretty well. So Absolutely. don't don't uh, don't check these off yet. But we do have a lighter weight that works even better in hot, hot, and especially humid weather. So um, the lightweight is um, about two thirds the weight of the regular weight. Um, you can see it has a little bit of a brushed backer here. I feel like, these almost feel like um, a really nice pair of long underwear, except obviously they're more appropriate socially. So they have uh, the same great fit that we've been really enjoying the last few years in the Mark II. So it's uh, again, more of a uh, straight leg fit. So it is gonna fit nicely over a hiking boot or a shoe. Um, I roll them up to the mid calf to, to go rock climbing. Um, ben, tell us how, how you like the music. Yeah, no, they're great. I think, uh, I, I again, I like the unhemmed length. Um, that works really well for me, but obviously you can you can uh, hem those up as needed. They do have this mesh pocket, um, which actually comes in super handy when it does get warmer, whether you're perspiring or whether you just are getting them wet and you need you know, the, the pockets to drain out. Uh, I've used them. I've used them backpacking, uh, and again, yeah, it can be super hot outside. They breathe super well. If and when they do get wet, they dry very quickly. Uh, extremely versatile. And we've been in this prolonged high pressure uh, weather pattern here in the Pacific Northwest and for the last week or so. I've worn these probably two or three times during that, riding my bike to meetings, really frigid, and they do an excellent job of uh, you know keeping you warm and wind resistant. Yeah, they really block that wind nicely. And the, the mesh pocket will also just say, doing a river crossing in deep water with a heavy pack on, it's really nice to have those pockets drain instead of having to dump them out when you get to the other side. Canyoneering, river crossings in the backpack, anything like that, you're going to really appreciate this. Not to mention, stay tuned, we'll have some shorts coming later this year, later next year. Yeah, and I've test run those this last summer and they were great. Really, really useful and uh, enjoyed the heck out of for rock climbing, again, backpacking, yep. uh, out swimming with the family, those kinds of things. Another flash giveaway, uh, don't want David to have all the fun here. So this one is get out, stay out. So enter into the uh, the comments field there with hashtag get out, stay out. And you got a pair of the Mark II light pants coming your way. Uh, in terms of price points on these, it's 185 for the pants. And when those shorts do come around, they'll be at about 140. And I think uh, we're down to some belts and the Merino line. Um, All right, real quick, we got uh, Teddy Bailey's got the uh, Teddy Bailey one of the, the lights. So Teddy, I'll be reaching out to you and getting your details, and we'll get those out to you as soon as we can. Congrats, Teddy. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, the Thunder Belt. <clears throat> this is relatively new. What this fall? Yeah, uh, just a few months ago. In fact, we this is another collaboration <coughs> with Grips. We uh, we got together with these guys at the most recent outdoor retail show, and we're able to collaborate on design here. It's a really slim fitting belt, really nice to fit under layers. Um, you don't want your belt protruding like that. It's great for travel. Um, it rolls up really nice and small for a suitcase or just in your drawer at home. And it's just a really nice slim modern design. They have a really unusual um, buckle setup. I'll show you here. The way that you fasten this, where most belts will come out like that, you actually go in and under. So just the tension of being around your waist crimps the belt in such a way that it doesn't loosen at all. Unlike most nylon web belts that do loosen over time, this one really stays snug, keeps your pants up really comfortably. Yeah, yeah this has been my daily driver uh, since I, I got my hands on it. It's been a great belt. You can wear this in, in professional settings. It's also really nice for outdoor use in that it doesn't you know, gather a lot of water. Obviously leather is not a good call when you're outside if there's sweat or moisture. And with this, it does a good job of uh, not carrying on that, that uh, moisture as well as kind of keeping its form. It, it's, uh, you know, it kind of bends as it needs to, but a lot of belts, they'll sort of start to, to uh, over time, kind of bend under that pressure of that last belt loop. And I found that this is really strong, uh, versatile, and like you said, just that friction alone of this design 
nice and flat and uh, highly functional. These are on $35 a pop. They got a variety of different colors you can choose from. Imagine you could size it, cut it, and, and burn the end if you needed to. Uh, with my girth, you know, came ready to roll. So uh, it's, it, was, it worked out really well. Um, so yeah, I think with that, maybe talk a little bit about the merino tops. So first we'll talk about the long sleeve, short sleeve. Yeah. We've got a couple different styles. This is the baseline crew neck. It's a crew neck t-shirt, obviously. Um, Merino is a, a great material to work with because it's uh, it's naturally wicking, naturally absorbent, so it pulls that perspiration right off your skin without you having to really do anything. A lot of the synthetics out there really require a lot of heat to push that moisture away from your skin and into the fabric because they don't absorb. And the Merino actually is absorbent, so it pulls it right off your skin which is really nice when you're, when you're chilly. It's still pulling that sweat off your skin. It still dries much more quickly than cotton or silk or nylon, uh, but it's also uh, gonna keep you warm at the same time. So unlike cotton where the fiber collapses completely when it's wet, merino doesn't do that. It still has some insulating value uh, when it is soaking wet and it dries out more quickly. Dry out real quick in the sun. Um, we also like it because it is naturally antimicrobial, which means that stink factor that your tent mate doesn't appreciate on day two with the synthetic shirt, you can go weeks and weeks, and uh, we'll have to refer that question to Andrew Sherry, but uh, I've used these day after day in the backcountry, and it's much more pleasant to be around me when I have a merino shirt on. A couple of other minor details. Uh, we use a flat lock stitch on the seams on, on all of our merino. That's so that it doesn't chafe as much underneath your shoulder straps or around uh, your midsection if you're wearing a climbing harness or the waist belt of a backpack. So um, they will layer really nicely and, and slide underneath and over top of other layers because of that as well. So that's the crew neck. We offer in a short and long sleeve. It's, um, it's fitted like, a, I would say, a modern fit t-shirt. So it's not going to be skin tight like a cycling top and it's not gonna be loose fitting like a football jersey. It'll be a nice middle ground in between the two. Yeah, I think that's a, a good way of looking at it. Um, I've used this a lot with long distance trail running, and I can say, you know, with the running pack and their chafing can be a big issue. Uh, it's worked exceptionally well. I've done it, you know, whether you're running on the trails here in the Pacific Northwest where it's raining and, and sometimes even a little snowy. Uh, I even took it down to the Grand Canyon and we had, you know, temperatures as low as 28 and as high as 75. Uh, it can be comfortable all day. And again, no chafing or, or problems along those lines. So, a little positive experience. Question from Teddy asking, is it 100% Merino or Merino Nylon Blend? Good question. We have both. Um, stock levels on our blend are a little low at the moment, but we still have good stock in the 100% Merino. A little bit of a difference between the two. The modal blend that we use will dry just a little bit quicker. It's, it's so minimal that it'd be, you'd really have to watch the clock to notice the difference, but a little bit of a quicker dry time. But it, again, because it has a little bit of synthetic, you know, the stink factor, that's up to you. Roll the dice a little bit. Uh, I prefer the 100% Merino myself. Cool. And just before we move on to the Henry, price point 75 for the short sleeve, 85 for the long sleeve. Yep. Variety of colors. So this is the Henley, um, very recognizable from the baseline crew neck. We just added a, a three snap front placket there. Um, we like that for uh, style reasons, obviously. It also adds a little bit of ventilation and it layers nicely under this shirt, as you can see here, or others that you may have. Um, we also offer the Henley in the marl charcoal <coughs> color, which is that 10% modal as the 100% Reno that I have here in my hands. And short and long sleeve on that as well. Same fit as the baseline crew, so it's a, it's not, again, a skin tight fit, but it's not loose either. And with that, are there varying price points based upon material? Uh, I don't no. believe so. No. Okay, so $100 for short sleeve, 110 for long sleeve on the hand leg. So I think that kind of is a wrap for the products we want to share today. Yep. Um, I guess if there are any questions that we can answer from those watching, we'd love to we'd love to get your thoughts or if you've had some experiences and want to want to chime in, we'd love to hear about that as well. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and post this to our Facebook page. 
We'll also figure out a way to link it to our website. So if you have any questions or anything over the next couple of days, we'll leave it up for a little while. Right. Um, we may be throwing some extra discounts, some extra giveaways out there over the next few days as well. So uh, if you're watching, stay tuned, share with your friends, and thanks. Yeah, appreciate thanks it. Thanks for tuning in. All right.